Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about the Azerothian Archives, which is a new world event coming to the game in patch 10.2.5, Seeds of Renewal. And in this video we're going to go through everything you need to know about this event coming in 10.25. Uh, but before we jump into all of that, guys, I just want to shout out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash MrGM. You can just see me streaming World of Warcraft, Dragonflight, Dragonflight PTR, and more over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. Right, so yes, the Azerothian Archives is coming in 10.2.5. Two, five. This is a new world event, it's similar to your soups, your sieges, your researchers under fire, super bloom, all that kind of world events uh, that we've got throughout the course of Dragonflight. And this is the latest one called the Azerothian Archives. Now, the big difference here is that this event is purely cosmetic. All of the rewards from it are cosmetic rewards. There is no power attached to this event, which is either a really good thing or a really bad thing, depending on how you play the game. But yes, this is purely going to be for transmogs and mounts and things like that. Uh, so this is located in the Azure Span in an area called Traitor's Rest. This is a big archaeology site as this is the location of a big battle with Neltharian's troops uh, with the cultures of the Dragon Isles eons ago according to the archaeologists in the area. I did think when they announced this is going to have like quite a lot of lore attached to it similar to archaeology I guess in a sense uh, but it doesn't seem like there is any unless that is something that is encrypted on the PTR right now uh, but as of right now it doesn't look like there's any new lore tidbits or anything like that attached to it but again could be just PTR being PTR but we'll have to see once it launches. This event is set up very similar to time rifts in regards to the fact that there is a reputation attached to it. The reputation at the moment on the PTR is called the Azerothian Archives. However, I think that might actually change. It seems like a bit of a placeholder name, uh, but it might actually end up being called that. But essentially, this is a reputation grind with some cosmetic rewards. Okay, so let's talk about how the event works. So the timing for this event is that it's a nine minute event. Once the event ends, the next one is five minutes later. So you can just sweat this out if you really want to. You can stay in the zone uh, as long as you like and just keep doing it over and over again uh, to get reputation and get rewards, which is really nice. The general vibe of this event is that it's very similar to the Tuscar Soup World event. Uh, so the way that this works essentially is that in the middle of Traitor's Rest, you have Edward and excuse his model. It's kind of messed up on the PTR right now. I think it's an encryption issue. I'm not really sure. He's an undead and apparently couldn't get the name Edward, so he had to spell it weird. We're going to call him Edward. I don't know if it's pronounced like that. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so you stand in the middle and wait for tasks given by Edward. Now, there are two different types of tasks. There are solo tasks and there are group tasks. Now, the group tasks have not been tested on the PTR, and I don't think they will be tested. So we're not really sure on how those are going to work, but I would imagine it's going to be similar to time rifts. Now, for the solo tasks, these are solo. So if you have other people in your party, uh, they'll be doing different things to you, but you'll still be increasing the bar at the top of the screen that we'll talk about in a minute. Now, these solo events can vary from a few different things, like picking flowers, sorting rocks into piles, scanning relics, clicking books, moving boxes back and forth. It's not really too complicated. Uh, they could have done something with archaeology here, but maybe that would take too long. But yeah, essentially it's running back and forth, uh, doing small tasks for Edward, which will increase the bar at the top of the screen, which is pages. Think of this as like Bloom from the Super Bloom. So this maxes out at 1000 pages per level. Each solo task you complete will increase the bar by 50 per task. Now what's really cool about this is that if you are on your own, you will get a bonus amount that is calculated with the amount of people around you. So say if you're completely on your own, the event shouldn't in theory go any faster or slower than if you had like 40 people around you, which I think is a really great thing and going to be really good for once we're out of Dragonflight and people come back to complete this. So really cool to see that being used in this event. And this is a group bar as well. So if there is other people around, uh, them doing tasks will increase it as well. So below the pages collected bar, you'll see that it says tomes collected and what the next tome is. So the tome system is very simple. There are three different rarities of tomes varying from green to blue to purple and it is completely RNG on which tome is coming up next it's not like complete one bar you get a green one then you get a blue one then you get a purple one there could be a time where you get no purple ones at all or you could just get some blue ones or just some green ones or whatever now these are items that you open up and inside them are various different things the green ones can contain anywhere from zero reputation to 25 reputation it really depends on which bag you get uh, the blue ones will contain about 50 reputation and the epic ones will contain about 100 reputation and each of them will contain a varying amount of currency called Mysterious Fragments, which is a new currency uh, connected to this event, which you're going to be using to buy some of the rewards, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Also inside these tomes is a small chance of some cosmetic rewards. So there is a bluey gray recolor of the Refer a Friend set, which you can get random cosmetic pieces from inside these tomes, but it seems like a pretty low drop chance. And also there's an extremely low drop chance of a mount called the Clay Scale Horn Strider. So essentially the faster you're doing this event, the more tomes you're getting, which means more rep, more 
currency and more chance for cosmetic rewards from the bag. So from my testing, you're generally going to get around three to five tomes per run uh, as it is a nine minute event. But obviously, if there's a ton of people around, you're probably going to get way, way more, uh, which means more reputation, which means more rewards, of course. Once the timer runs out at nine minutes, you will have to kill a boss. This is Doom Shadow, of course, one of the dead dragons that was slain here many eons ago. So once you kill Doom Shadow, uh, that will complete the event. This actually gives a thousand pages. So whatever tome you're on, uh, you'll get that tome that is next. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, once that's completed, you wait five minutes and then the event will start again and you do it again. You, you go around, do tasks, get tomes, kill the boss and repeat. And that's basically how the Azerothian Archive event works. Now, much like the other world events, there is a weekly quest. So to complete this weekly quest, it is simply just to complete a Azerothian Archive dig. The rewards for this as of right now on the PTR are 3000 reputation with the Azerothian Archives and 5000 mysterious fragments. However, with the fragments, it is one character per week. So if you're doing this on alts, you won't be able to get fragments from the weekly quest. Alts will just get 100 Dragon Isle supplies. However, the mysterious fragments currency, which is attached to this event, appears to be account wide as you can buy an item from the vendor which trades currency one to one. So yeah, not really the end of the world with that. But yes, the 3000 reputation is going to be something you can get on multiple alts. Uh, but yeah, obviously you just want to farm the rep on one character as you'd imagine. So let's talk about this reputation. As mentioned, it is called the Azerothian Archives. There are five levels to this reputation with 10,500 reputation for each. So the first level is Junior. The second level is Capable. The third level is Learned. The fourth level is Resident. And the fifth level is Tenured. Uh, so so in total, to get all the way to Tenured, you will need to get 42,000 reputation. So yeah, 3,000 from the weekly and then 100 to 50 to 25 from the tomes. It's going to be a bit of a grind, but I believe being a human, Dark Moon Fair, things like that will affect this. So make sure you're taking advantage of that when they are up. As for rewards from the reputation, I'm not really sure, to be honest. That's not really something you can data mine and going out and farming the entire thing on the PTR is really tough. So yeah, uh, there's probably some rewards in there somewhere uh, for getting each of the levels similar to the time rifts. Okay, so let's talk about some of the cosmetic rewards from the Azerothian Archives. So the vendor for this event is located by the Algathar Academy in Northern Thaldrassus. Uh, this is where you'll find the starting quest as well. Now that is just giga broken on the PTR right now, so I would show you it, uh, but it's literally just not working at all. Could be an encryption issue, could be a bug. Uh, not really sure what's going on there. Uh, however, the vendor is working, so we can take a look at that. Now, the currency used, as mentioned before, is Mysterious Fragments. Now, this is a currency which will go in the currency tab. So you won't have stuff filling up your bags, luckily. And this currency has no cap at all in it and is account wide, as mentioned before, where you could trade it one to one with this item called the Priceless Artifact. So let's talk about the rewards. So the kind of big thing here is a recolor or another recolor of the Refer a Friend set. So of course, the Refer a Friend set is something that we saw come uh, a while back in the game and we're finally getting some recolors of it. So obviously I mentioned the one earlier, uh, that's the green variant and this is the more kind of dark variant. Uh, this will set you back various amounts of mysterious fragments. So 5,000 for the belt, 7,000 for the chest, 7,000 for the legs, etc. And this is, yeah, just a really good set and a really happy to see it come back uh, into the game uh, through just some regular means instead of having to do like shenanigans with refer a friend. So yeah, that's kind of the big thing you want to be buying here. There is various weapon transports as well. So you have this one-handed mace called the Archivist Magnifying Mace. Uh, this is a big magnifying glass. Some of the weapon models are fantastic here. Uh, you also have this one-handed sword, which is the Archivist Rock Puller, uh, which is a little hook. You have a two-handed staff, which is a big shovel. You have the Archivist Stone Chisel, which is a little uh, dagger, uh, which is a chisel model, which is nice. I love these simple models. I think they look great. You also have this two-handed mace in the form of Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. So in 10 to five, you can be up for rack with Lumiere if that's something you'd like to do. Also, you have this offhand, which is a lantern. You also have this gun, which is randomly only available to warriors, hunters, and rogues. So that's strange. I don't know why it's listed as that. You have this two-handed mace, which is like an awesome looking torch. I love the look of that. Uh, you have this grappling hook, which is a one-handed mace. You have a mining pick, which is a one-handed axe. 
You have a one-handed mace, which is another shovel, like a smaller shovel. You have this rope, a coil of rope, which is a offhand. I love this. This whole look here is just phenomenal. I love the Azerothian archives. What great rewards. Uh, you have this headpiece, which is glasses. You have the archivist reading spectacles. You also have the archivist rose-tinted glasses as well. Uh, going into the final bits here, you now have the archivist elegant bag, which is a kind of like more silver moony blood elfy bag, which is awesome. Uh, you have the historian's backpack, as I showed before, of course, part of that refer a friend recolor. Uh, of course, the helm as well attached to that set. And finally, the explorer's stone hide pack beast, which is a new mount, which will set you back 20,000 mysterious fragments, which actually isn't that much i've done about 15 or so digs on this character so really not too much uh grinding at all and obviously the weekly quest giving you a ton of fragments and of course just kind of constantly farming it you're going to get a lot of these rewards uh fairly quickly but the numbers do seem quite high but you do get quite a lot so it's not really the end of the world but yeah tons of great cosmetic rewards from the azerothian archives also, as you'd imagine, there are a bunch of achievements attached to this event as well. There's actually a meta achievement as well called the Archives Called You Answered. The reward for this is the title Isles Archivist. Uh, these achievements don't seem too bad, not as bad as like the Researchers Under Fire. Uh, so yeah, there's going to be plenty to do here. Of course, with it being such a regular event, these will be a lot easier to complete than some of the other achievements, of course. Uh, but yes, there is a meta achievement and a bunch of achievements attached to this uh, if that is something you want to partake in. And that's it. That is everything you need to know about the Azerothian Archive event in 1025. 1025 is slated to release in January 2024, so that is next month. So I wouldn't imagine this event having too many changes over the next month or so. Uh, obviously, the encryption issues with the models hopefully will be fixed because it is a little weird having all these encrypted boxes or white models uh, giving you tasks to do. But hopefully that's all going to be sorted out by the time we get into launch in January. So let me know down below what you think of the Azerothian Archive event. This is a really interesting event and pretty chill to be honest so if you want to go there uh, get some cosmetics get some achievements and things like that that is something you can do uh, in patch 1025 so yeah thank you very much guys if you like this video please do leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you want to support me outside of youtube i'm also on patreon and i'm on twitter at mr gmyt and i have a partner discord channel as well and as mentioned i am streaming on twitch.tv slash mr gm if you want to see me stream world of warcraft dragonflight dragonflight ptr and more over on twitch.tv slash mr gm every single day and with that, guys, I'll see you next time.